Bureau. Burger time. What is it? Six degrees of freedom. So this is a headset that's going to track an area you're in automatically without the need of an external camera. This should give you full motion in VR, just like the Vive, in any space you're in. Even tracking two controllers that look eerily similar to the Oculus Quest controller, but they have thumbsticks and, oh, count them, count them, two triggers! This is truly the future we're living in. <coughs> oh, and by the way, not important, the controllers glow in the fucking door! I think, at least. Anyway. The website boasts a new premium PC VR system, but in the trailer they clearly show a phone here, and there's some vents on the headset. Normal PC VR headsets don't kick out enough heat for them to need vents, so this must be some sort of portable headset. So maybe it's a mix of both, a headset you can use with your PC and then take with you that does something with your phone. They're being so cryptic, man. You know how cryptic they're being? Check out this. Give us a bunch of random numbers. Here are the numbers. I don't know, you figure it out, man. They're just they're being weird. They also boast a lot about their crystal clear graphics and minimal screen door effect and our sharpest screens yet. So what does the phone have to do with it? There's clearly a screen inside. Maybe you can run the games on either your phone or your computer and then you can transmit the image to your headset, but doing that without a lot of latency is really difficult and, and if you can't do it there's gonna be a whole lot of nausea with that so who knows guess we'll find out the design is very similar to the psvr but only in the head strap it has headphones like the vibe deluxe audio head strap but in some of the promotional material their ears are just open to the air so they can hear other people when they're in vr it's disgusting so maybe they're doing some sort of modular customization like they did with the vibe so you can add different bits on so this whole thing is kind of like a frankenstein of all these different vr headsets so yeah that's pretty much all we know um all we've got is a tweet and a website um and a trailer it's very possible that this is our vive 2 of sorts all their taglines on Go Beyond seem to emphasize the idea that whilst this is a PC headset, we're supposed to use our phones in some way to use this thing wherever we go. Once again, they've been so strange and vague in all their marketing that very few people actually know what this headset is or what it does. Honestly, I don't really know what it is either. Maybe by the phone thing they just mean like, you can, you can, by the way, you can turn the headset up all pretty nifty and they're like, oh, you can read texts and then put it back that maybe it hasn't made it's just a normal headset but there's no there's no cables there's clearly no wires on any of it so it, it must be wireless in some way you can't slot your phone in the headset like a samsung gear vr because they talk about crystal clear graphics and all this so there must be a screen in there and also these events indicate that there's some performance happening in there on its own more than a normal headset or a phone headset so this might be the oculus quest killer before the oculus quest is even alive you kind of like the Oculus Quest abortion. I don't know, do I ask you guys to like the video now or something gay? I don't know. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs>